Welcome to the episode today. Today I am going out with a friend. Q friend. Roll the intro. So uh oh damn it. So today we're do so today we're doing some uh some like street photography what it's called it's what it's called yeah some street photography and then we're gonna make these into prints and then we might sell the prints to you but so today's like me doing photo and video and vlog long story anyways we're gonna go to our first location Baldwin Park all right uh, off to location two how do you think it's going so far good yeah Man of many words. Man of very many words. Very many words. Many very words. <laughs> is that meant? So we switched. Uh, oh, hi, is there auto? There we go. So we uh, we switched lenses for a little bit, and this is his lens. So I'm sorry for the quality of of the rest of this, and I'm sorry that it looks really zoom. How do how do you? We uh right now. Well, we have this idea that we want to do, and. Uh, research project all of a sudden. Oh, dude, this is awesome. Wow. And that wall, I'm knocking that wall up. I'm gonna knock the wall up. Wall? Yo. <laughs> That's awesome. It's pretty sick. So no, so what I was thinking, I can't put this on the camp. Ooh. How are ya? We got gelato at my favorite gelato place. We have Parker eating my gelato, eating <laughs> gelato at my favorite gelato place with this camera eating my favorite gelato place. All right, we're here in Publix. I grabbed a drink, but I'm also gonna switch out this lens like. So this is a really zoomed in. This is a 28 to 105 photo time. There we go, that's lighting so much better. Yeah, got it? Yep. So uh, right now, I'm gonna do a little bit of a, like a tutorial right here. So if you're not a filmmaker and a photographer, ignore this part, skip or watch it, whatever. Uh, Parker's gonna show us exactly how he composes a shot, what, how he thinks about a shot, and uh... Should I introduce myself? My name is Parker Stroop. So I am currently a student. I've been trained by professional uh, cinematographers as well as I'm a professional um, cinematographer and editor with Shaman Motion Pictures um, and editing with their wedding film company. So for shot placement, when I'm thinking about uh, setting up four portraits, I'll ha adjust where they're standing. Um, so right here, the light's not too harsh. It's not, it's kind of giving a little, um, almost a rim effect on his, uh, on my right side, his left side. Uh, so doing that, I do a couple things. So you need variety within your shots. So there's uh, horizontals, verticals, close up, mediums, um, and full bodies. When doing portraits, you want to enter, cut those um, into it so throughout the whole session it looks different every time you look at a photo it's not oh this is the same photo as the last photo so when I go I'll do another main thing I think about while doing this is my focal length so this right here is a 50 millimeter it goes to 1.8 um, of course get exposure properly I'll just go to live view since I don't have mirrorless camera Go to live view, adjust that. Usually keep uh, 100 ISO, uh, but right now a little too dark. So right there, I'm shooting in raw for this. And then, so first one I'll usually do um, right above the waist. You don't want to cut off any arms, any hands. Um, you don't want to go fingertips. You want to go leave room for fingertips. Don't cut off at joints. Um, and this all applies to cinematography as well. Uh, you try not to cut off fingertips, you try not to cut off joints. Um, but so 
Right here you do. Watch out the edge. Yep. Right here is. Eh. Oh. Come on, if I I, I said I that. I thought dude. there was a. <laughs> I, I, I want to get Paul. <laughs> I thought there was. Uh, I need vlog footage, so. This is my only camera, alright? I'll give you this I one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought there was grass there. No, I said watch out for the oh edge. Oh my gosh. I did say watch out for the edge. He did. Alright, so right now, um, in this scenario right here, uh, because the camera I'm using and we're in the shadow, everything's blown out in the back. But with framing a person, you don't want to be cutting off at joints. You don't want to be cutting off at fingertips. Um, now, video is a little bit different. You have more free play with that because uh, it's moving pictures. So each frame is going to be different and you're going to at points cut off at joints. But it doesn't look as unnatural than when you're doing it with photography. Um, as well, like new age photography is a lot of headspace. Um, you're able to get a lot of headspace, especially when you have something in the background. You can have a lot of headspace, but usually with portraits, if you're doing a client uh, project or just like a portrait shoot, you want to have kind of them as the focus so you don't do too much headspace. Um, and you can see in the photos that I just took that the headspace isn't too large, but it looks natural where the person is the focus. All right guys, so that's how I uh, do shot placement for portrait photography. I am uh, right now pretend, ooh, sorry, just off the monitor. That's a cool background. I'm pretending to vlog right now for Q Friend, for, for, the, for the photo shoot. Uh, sorry, hold on. Okay, so right now, should I move my hand or no? back at it, same type of photo, just a slightly different position. Guys, so these photos, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these photos exactly. So I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly with these photos. I know I'm gonna wanna redo some of the look on this YouTube channel, also on my social media pages and stuff. So that's what some of these photos are gonna be used for. Um, right now I'm just kinda shooting the shit, killing time while he takes his photo. All right. Uh, all right, uh, so right now we're just doing some photo editing. Here's a time lapse of Parker editing photos. <laughs> This is the fuck. Sorry. This is the end of the ep episode. Um, Hold my hand at this point. <laughs> take me to dinner first. <laughs> this is the end of the episode. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, say bye. Bye.